Emery has a selection dilemma to consider after nearly 22 years at the helm, Arsene Wenger has gone. The man who has defined their club in recent history has left to mixed reception all around. Arsenal are in unfamiliar territory and Unai Emery is the man they have picked to guide them through it. Emery has a winning pedigree and the Spaniard will hope that trophies will come, just like they did in Paris and Seville. He has made a string of signings since his arrival, many of which were received well by the supporters. A major upgrade was done in goal as Brent Leno was signed, replacing the aging Petr Cech. Stefan Lichtsteiner and Socrates Papastathopoulos were recruited from Juventus and Borussia Dortmund respectively to bolster the defence. Uruguayan midfielder Lucas Torreira came from Sampdoria, a player who impressed hugely in Italy. Emery will hope that these new signings will mesh well with a January coup of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The Gunners have numerous combinations which they can deploy and Emery will be desperate to find out the right one. On that note, here are three ways in which Arsenal can line up next season. The defence will most likely consist of Nacho Monreal, Socrates, Shkodran Mustafi and Hector Bellerin. Injuries to Seed Polishinich and Laurent Koscielny will surely cement this backline for the near future. The highly rated Torreira will take up the midfield anchor role, flanked on either side by two out of Aaron Ramsey, Granit Xhaka, and Mohamed Elneny. Ramsey is an important figure in the squad so his presence will be highly likely. Elneny would provide better defensive cover than Chaka, but lesser playmaking abilities. Aubameyang, Lacazette, and Ozil will complete the lineup by forming an unorthodox attacking trident. Neither one out of Ozil and Aubameyang hugs the touchline like a winger, so the onus will be on Bellerin and Monreal to bomb forward whenever needed. This formation could use Arsenal's two strikers effectively, as Aubameyang will be able to get into central positions where he is at his lethal best. Ozil is also a player who likes to drift inward to dictate play which makes the roles of the fullbacks all the more significant. Both Bellerin and Monreal have played as wing backs before and they do possess the stamina and pace to cope up with the dual responsibility. Torreira will play very deep in this system, which will act as cover in the wide areas while facing a counter-attack. Topics you might be interested in. 